Hi, Rachel Rilio here at Silverlands to talk about Dina Gadia and her current show, Navigating the Abstract. Looking at Dina, her process, the media she uses, and her work for a decade now, I'm still and continually fascinated by the way in which she juxtaposes text and found popular imagery in a language of her own making. Adopting and destabilizing mass, usually vintage, material to either or both inform and contradict, Dina's work in any media is playful. Attracted and interested in the strange, flawed, common, and unconventional imagery, Dina's practice revolves around an image's capacity to simulate visual relationships, thoughts, and ideas. In her early collage work, Dina collects and cuts through mounds of found material and arranges pieces until a narrative starts to form. Her youthful curiosity and aspirational ideas are apparent in these fun and kitschy collages. The spine of her practice primarily comes from Western comics, films, and iconography of pop culture. From beauty magazine covers to encyclopedic illustrations of the 30s, men's health magazines to educational workbooks from the 50s, erotic magazines to comic strips from the 60s and 70s. These are vintage source materials that are modified, lifted from its original intention and readdressed to serve Dina's purpose. No matter how strong the visual implications of the original source materials as commentaries of a cultural time frame, Dina has an uncanny way of storytelling by redirecting from the obvious. Say, for example, her use of printed materials from the U.S. colonial period. These are mostly elementary school books printed in the Philippines, but it's content made by Americans who were in charge of our educational system. Reeking of propaganda and colonialism, Dina's interest in these publications lean not on the political and historical, but on her fascination of the comic book style offset printing and kitschy depiction of the American dream. At the Palais de Tokyo show, City Prince Princesses in the summer of 2019, the curator Ugo Vitrani chose to show Dina's banners. These textile works are seen in Dina's practice since 2011 and more recently for the 13 Artists Awards in 2018. Simulating American school sports or marching band banners, Dina's renditions have controverted meanings distant from the authoritarian symbols traditionally represented on these objects. Often using text as directives, they are funny, at times ominous, and nonsensical. Using the shiniest polyester satin fabric in mismatched colors and tassels, Dina's banners and flags ask for us to pledge allegiance to the ridiculous unknown. In her current show, Navigating the Abstract, here at the gallery from December 5th to the 23rd, 2020, Dina Gadia shows three paintings and three metal signages. Do not go beyond this point, is written on a sign she randomly encountered on a road. She appropriates the sign, and as a lone piece on a wall at the gallery, this instructional and commanding sign leaves us a sense of ambiguity as we make sense of this surreal time and the uncertainty of the beyond. It is clear as it is abstract that the show is about the times and the atmosphere we live in, the globe, void of landmarks that Dina illustrates in container with distinct arrows pointing to nowhere is today's universal truth.